Father of Apples is staring into a blooming garden, a strange look. Father of Apples hears a movement of roots in a dream. Surely many fans of rock music heard these words from the song of the Russian musician Boris Gerbeshnikov. The text and the music he composed in Almaty and on arrival of St. Petersburg immediately recorded a new composition in the studio version. Hello, my name is Oleg Badirev. You are watching The Road to the Future. Let's continue with Almaty topic. Today, it will be presented as Almaty, the hub of the southern micro region. A camp of an ancient nomad, Almatu, Zylitsky military fortification, Fort Verney, the Soviet Almata, and finally, the southern metropolis of Kazakhstan, Almaty. The city several times changed not only the name, but also the status. Officially, it was twice the capital, the first time from 1927 to 1991, when the country was part of the USSR, and then from 1991 to 1997, at the stage of Kazakhstan's independence. And each historical scenario at all times stressed the special role of this city, the Interregional Transit Bridge. But under the new conditions, it has become more multi-vector. The aviation, rail and roadways today pass through Almaty, not only to Russia, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and China, but also to other countries. Almaty is one of the friendliest cities in the Republic. It has 17 sister cities, which are located in various parts of the world. We are glad to see in Egypt, on the Mediterranean coast, in Alexandria, we are always awaited in ancient South Korean city of Daeju. A warm welcome waits us in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia's economy capital. But the very first fraternal page in collaboration with Almaty, the name of our city in 1989, opened the city of Tuscan. This American city is located in the state of Arizona in 11 and a half thousand kilometers from Almaty. Can you imagine how far it is? In the modern realities of geoeconomics, Almaty is the largest city in the Kazakhstan segment of the Silk Road economic belt. From here to Urumqi, administrative and hub center of Xinjiang, Uyghur Autonomous Region of China, is 1,200 kilometers. Therefore, the geography of Kazakhstan metropolis, its prospects of infrastructure development are the motivating factors for the implementation of Almaty transport and logistics capacity in the framework of national strategy of Kazakhstan, Norli Zhol, and the global Chinese initiative, One Belt, One Way. The 21st century is a century of global transformations that will occur due to the implementation of the Silk Road Economic Belt projects. It is exactly a golden time for the development of our towns located along this route. A few days ago, in this road leading to the ravine, where the skating ring Medeo is located, ran the American Dean Karnazes with Almaty residents. This famous ultra runner made a run within 10 days on the route to Tashkent, Bishkek, Almaty, which symbolically united the three countries along the Silk Road. Uh, but what is more important to me is to be... An athlete from San Francisco who is considered the world's most famous long-distance runner ran 525 kilometers along the Silk Road. By the way, the last 25 kilometers he devoted to 25th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Kazakhstan and the United States. I've only been in Almaty for one day and I believe it's a fantastic city. I've, uh, I've been awed by the beauty uh, of the surroundings, the mountains, uh, the city is beautiful. I live in San Francisco, which is a very beautiful city, uh, but I want to come back to Almaty next year to run the marathon and I want to tour the city more because it's so lovely. The city is beautiful not only for the national landscape but also for its unique location in the Central Asian region. All the roads that lead to the shortest distance between China and Europe pass through Almaty. You are in the right place at the right time. There will be great amounts of trade between East and West and you could be and should be part of it. I don't see any other country or any other city in Central Asia that is doing, the, that has the possibilities that you do. Coming up next, new status of Almaty or focus on the hub. Hub. 
Huh. Today, this word is often used when we are talking about major hub airports, sea and dry ports, transport and logistic complexes, which ensure circulation of goods by means of multimodal transportation. They are united by such concepts as the center and the core. So the status that is currently claimed by Almaty is a hub city of southern macro region. This status implies that there will be formed the center of the industrial infrastructure and business activity in particular macro region. Its territory is a large economic zone. In this context, it is referred to as Almaty Agglomeration. Currently, this territory, which includes in addition to the southern metropolis, suburban villages and small cities, live about 3 million people. These factors plus the new status of Almaty are the incentive to disclose more fully the potential of a metropolis. <laughs> In developed countries, the city gives 80% of the national GRP. Today, according to McKinsey, 600 largest cities in the world generate about 60% of the gross world product. And in 2025, their combined GDP will reach 64% of the trillions of dollars. And among these 600 metropolises will be our city. New plans are primarily associated with the development of transport and logistics infrastructure in Almaty and increase of trade flows. These two perspectives have appeared within the revival of the Great Silk Road. And the territory of Almaty has been established a fairly extensive network of logistics centers. Currently there are about 40. Most of these centers appeared relatively recently. Almaty Contract Logistics is one of the largest logistics centers in the southern metropolis. Its total area is 35 hectares. The area warehouses 45,000 square meters. Apart from the highway, two branch lines lead to the center terminals. The opening of this center three years ago was a breakthrough in the logistics of Kazakhstan. This facility closed the so-called cold chain of the delivery of products and vaccines from abroad to Kazakhstan. To eliminate losses here for these goods were created optimal conditions in the whole chain of their movement. The logistic complex can be roughly divided into two parts. Container zone, its area is 4,500 square meters, Two branch lines lead to this zone. The terminal has two cranes. One is designed to handle oversized cargo, the other spread a gantry crane for container handling. Carrying capacity of this crane is 50 tons and is capable of processing 25,000 containers per day. Its total area is 45,000 square meters. It consists of two separate buildings, 22.5 thousand square meters each. And the territory of the terminal operates the largest temporary storage warehouse. Here, temporary storage warehouses can simultaneously accept up to 200 vehicles. And these capacities makes this transport and logistics centers one of the most active in Almaty. And this center, one of the first in Kazakhstan, joined two important sectors for the development of small and medium-sized businesses, industry and logistics. Currently, it serves about 40% of all companies in Almaty whose production involves the temporary storage warehouses. In addition, more than 40 companies of the southern metropolis created their production sites in this industrial and logistics center. The area of DMU Industrial Logistics Center is 210 hectares. It is located in the industrial part of the city between routes Almaty, Jetigen and Almaty, Oskaman. These highways are the main transport corridors which connect Almaty with other regions of the Republic and with near and far abroad countries. On average, we serve 150 to 200 vehicles, such as gazelles, 40 to 80 large trucks, about 40 to 80 railway vehicles. But this is only 20% of what the park could serve. On the territory of the logistics center, there is Jetisu station. Through this transport hub passes a steel trunk dustic Octogaya Almaty 1 2. This railway ensures transportation of goods from the southern and western regions of Kazakhstan, Russia, China, Central Asia, and Europe. We have a separate platform to accept goods from Russia, Belarus, from other regions of Kazakhstan, which are not subject to customs control. In particular, the timber comes from Russia. It is not subject to customs control. For example, now we can see three cranes behind me. One of these cranes, 50 tons, it is multifunctional and can accept any type of goods. 
This logistics center has also its own peculiarities, which are also its advantages. Firstly, it is located near the international airport. This condition ensures for the center a fast delivery of goods. Secondly, the process of acceptance and shipment of goods is carried out on cross-stocking principle. Cross-stocking translates from English as joint directly. That is, the shipment of goods take place without placement in extended storage area. In general, this service is used by fashion retailers, bookstores. They can bring their goods to our warehouse, break up it by orders and promptly send new collections to shops. These operations are performed using a computer accounting system, Logistics Vision Suit. It allows you to quickly track the movement of goods in real-time mode. This is especially necessary for products that require special storage conditions. For food, it is very important to keep track of shelf life. The system can be set for what period you want to lock items in order that it will not get the shelves of Kazakhstan retailers in expired condition. Coming up next, new counters of the city or what will be the shape of Almaty in the future. Fourteen years have passed since the adoption of a master plan of Almaty, but this does not mean that since then it has not been updated. Every five years this plan is amended. The last adjustment of urban development was made in the last autumn. In the new version, the city will develop in the four-finger system, that is, in four directions, the west, northwest, north and the east. Through this multi-vector approach, the city center will be gradually cleared. For this purpose, we'll be building ring roads and multi-level parking, underground and semi-underground. In addition, behind the Palace of Republic, where the private sector is concentrated, it is planned to build multifunctional complexes. They will consist of low-rise residential houses, business and shopping centers. From this point, the city is spread out before you, and be recognized on the one hand opens a wide panorama and you can see all the landscape. But on the other hand, we see that Almaty is as if in a smoke, and all this because of the smog that hangs over the metropolis. International transport routes will give impetus to the development of the city, but at the same time will create some difficulties for citizens. Currently about 600,000 different vehicles are registered in Almaty. In addition, about 300,000 cars drive into Metropolis through transit. As a result, in the city travels about a million vehicles daily. Such intensity increases load and movement and worsens the ecological situation in the city. One of the reasons I don't live in uh, Shanghai, for instance, is because the traffic is so horrendous and the pollution is so horrendous, I couldn't bear to breathe the air or to get in traffic jams several hours every day. So if you're going to attract investors and people with competence, you need to have an efficient city, not blocked up with traffic and horrible air. Adjustments in the new master plan were made taking into account the implementation of the program Sustainable Transport. The aim of this program is to make Almaty a convenient city for people's lives. And to achieve it, gradually a priority will be given to public transport. Unfortunately, the share of public transport is only 38%. In the cities that are pleasant to live according to all European ratings, world ratings, the share of public transport is usually even more than 50%. That is, it is the city where you enjoy walking, where the minimum private vehicles move within the city area. It is planned to make large-scale changes in the transport system of Almaty in the next five years as a part of the project, Sustainable Transport. Among them, the launch of additional bus routes, construction of new underground stations and the airport. Innovations in the transport system will allow residents of Almaty outskirts to easily reach the city center. In 2012, the Almaty subway entered the top 10 most beautiful subways in the world, according to rating of online magazine The Coolies. For a city which first opened the doors of its subway only a year ago, it was an unexpected confession. Moreover, this facility was in the top 10 among the subways of the largest cities in the world. Washington, Moscow, Taipei, Paris, Montreal, Frankfurt, Pyongyang, New York and Stockholm.
The first seven stations of Almaty subway were put into operation in 2011. Five years later, the first line included two more new stations, Sairan and Moscow. Finally, their number reached nine stations. If prior to the opening of two new stations, we transported about 25 million passengers on average per day, then today we transport daily about 40 million passengers, and the dynamics of passenger traffic is constantly growing. Expansion of the underground transport system will take place in the western and northern directions. By 2020, the Almaty subway will increase by another four stations. And by that time, according to experts, the city will be able to fully evaluate its efficiency. Coming up next, a ring of large perspectives or rarely the Almaty roads. Bakad is the big Almaty ring road. Name of the project is rather ordinary. However, its implementation is beyond the scope of typical road project. Firstly, Bakad will increase the capacity of international auto corridor, Western Europe, Western China. Secondly, it will optimize movement, which is carried out in the framework of the Republican road network. And thirdly, Bakad will help to improve the ecological state of the city through reduction of traffic flows in Almaty. Because structurally is not included in the project Western Europe, Western China, but nevertheless, it is its important link. After completion of construction, this bypass road will be connected with transit corridor. At the same time, its opening will have an impact on the development of Almaty transport infrastructure. Because thanks to this project, the transit flows will go around the city and as a result, optimizes the movement within the metropolis and reduce the environmental road. This project is this project is organized in the framework of the law on public-private partnership. The project will be prepared with involvement of international consultants. The concessionaire has already been determined. It will be represented by a consortium of Turkish-Korean companies which will lead the Bakar construction and after completion of the project will be engaged in the ring road maintenance. According to project terms, the concession period is 20 years. Construction will begin next year and will last for four and a half years. The existing roadmap of Kazakhstan will soon become history. In the 2020, when all the projects within Norlijol will be completed, the highways of the Republic will be faster, safer and more comfortable for traffic. The route almaty kapchagai is one of the important sections of center-south projects. Its length is 104 kilometers. After the reconstruction, a large part of the road will be a six-lane and may look like this. This route is important for the residents of the city, as in the coastal zone of Kapchagai there is a network of summer tourist camps. In addition, traffic flows toward the East Kazakhstan pass along the route almaty kapchagai Therefore, it is one of the busiest road sections of Almaty agglomeration. Drivers will pay for a comfortable travel because the road maintenance, the road, the higher category, the... It's like a car. Maintenance of Mercedes is more expensive than maintenance of Vaz. Similarly, maintenance of a highest category road requires a lot of money. Therefore, in order to release the budget from these costs, we made a decision to make toll road under the program. According to experts, in the near future, about 70 hubs of international level will be built in the largest transport hubs of the world. They are interconnected by multimodal transport corridors. Such a scheme of cargo delivery will improve the efficiency of transport and distribution process up to 40%. There are at least six factors that create the preconditions that Almaty can compete with international hubs. An advantageous geographical location, great potential of transport, and logistics infrastructure, good business activity, high industrial and human capital, able to perceive innovations. Finally, tourism resource, which is waiting for its moment of glory thanks to this beauty of nature. Recently, Almaty hosted the fifth innovation forum. The main question asked by international experts in the field of urbanization, how to make Almaty comfortable for life and business. Despite the fact that opinions were very different, the forum participants gave a simple formula. Intelligent transport plus logistics multiplied by human capital equals with innovative ecosystem. But how to achieve this result will be discussed separately.
The famous Danish architect, Jan Gale, called Almaty as a pleasant and green city that has a lot of natural resources, and the main thing of them, the people. I think that this opinion will support a minimum of 1,704,500 votes exactly. This number of residents today consider themselves to be citizens of Almaty. You were watching the route to future. Until next time, on route, which opens up new possibilities for Kazakhstan.